So when we do HTML CSS in JavaScript, my bad, when we are doing JavaScript, we have to a lot use string concatenations to create dynamic HTML. Because that's the normal thing. Like, for example, you have a list of people. So you say list, let people, and then you have here Bob, you have here Pedro, and you have Marta. So if you have those three people, you normally would want to generate uh, uh, some HTML with it, with that, because that's data, but it's not an HTML yet. So you can say something like content plus equal. No, no, let's just start with UL right now. A normal UL, like the UL that you would use when you're doing HTML without JavaScript, the same one. But maybe we can put in the middle all the, all the allies of these items. So for that, we can say something like, um, in the middle, we can concatenate. We can concatenate the people array dot map so that we can change every person in that array. We're going to make it an ally with the person inside. So the P will be inside. And then I close my ally like that. And then if, if I print content, let's print content right now with console.log just to show you what I created. I created a small HTML website. Let me comment this too because we don't need them right now. So if you see the console, well, there's a comma there that we can remove by doing the join. So let's do that as well. The join so that we put all the elements together with a quote. Oops, I press test. It's going to give me a wrong test because it's not what I'm doing. But when I, here it is, like the HTML of a UL with a list of people. So that's normal in being a web developer. So this exercise is meant to start um, giving you the idea on how to concatenate. You have to put together all of these variables to create a, an HTML that makes sense. Very similar to this one. It makes sense because you know that in HTML, the classic HTML structure has HTML first, then head, title, then it closes the title, and then it closes the head, and then it opens the body, and then it closes the body, and then it closes the HTML. So if we gotta do it like that, we have to start concatenating so that it makes sense. So let's say, first, the opening HTML would be E, plus the opening head would be C plus the opening title, because it goes inside the head, so G, plus the closing title, because it's time to close title, the closing head, so it's F, then the opening body, so body it's H, then the closing body that is T, and then the closing HTML that it's P. So if you run this, it should output an HTML that it's exactly the same as this one, title, 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 body, 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 Oh, I put body twice, my bad. I gotta close with HTML, so it's B. Let me see, okay, and now I have it correct. So let me test it. And it's all good. 